most awesome graffiti of Sao Paulo. Immerse yourself in a vibrant world where concrete canvases transform into masterpieces. In the bustling streets of Sao Paulo, a tapestry of captivating color and boundless creativity awaits. Allow us to take you on a journey that will leave you breathless. When it comes to street art, Sao Paulo is considered to be one of the capitals in the globe. Its primary proponents are stars that are known for all over the world, and their work has been displayed in some of the most prominent galleries in both the United States and Europe. Sao Paulo is not only the economic capital of the South American continent, but it is also regarded as one of the most artistically vibrant and culturally diverse cities in the entire globe. We are going to show you some of the best sites in Sao Paulo to view murals created by some of the world's most talented street painters since Sao Paulo is responsible for producing some of the world's top street artists. You had best hurry through because the new mayor of Sao Paulo has threatened to paint over part of the street art in the city because he believes it is visually polluting the city. Because of the significance of street art in the city, there is even an open museum of urban art and graffiti day is celebrated annually. Both of these events take place throughout the city. When walking through the streets of the nation's capital for the first time, it is impossible not to notice that a significant number of the city's walls and buildings have been defaced with messages or drawings. These interventions make an effort to break up the chromatic uniformity that give the city its moniker of Cidade Cinza, which translates to Grey City. As a result of the reputation of a portion of these showstoppers, countless sightseers visit the city for the expression objective of getting a charge out of them face to face. Since spray painting is a fleeting type of workmanship that could seem one day and vanish the following, it is vital to take pictures of it so it tends to be safeguarded for people in the future. You can take pictures with your telephone or a camera. Villa Marilena, Beco de Batman, most well-known graffiti corner in Sao Paulo may be found in the city's bohemian neighborhood. This passageway, which is formerly known as Rua Goncala Alfonso, is known by its alias Superhero Alley due to the fact that the first mural created there in the 1980s depicted a superhero in its entirety. The remaining space was gradually given color, and nowadays it is considered to be one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city. Because graffiti is updated on a regular basis, there will always be something fresh and exciting for you to find whenever you pay a visit. These days, its walls are covered with signatures by well-known graffiti artists from all over the world. Beko do Batman This short alleyway is decked out with artwork all along its walls. The walls of the homes are made up of a combination of ink and the plants that grow in the cracks and crevices of the walls. This creates the walls of the home. Every graffiti artist in this alley owns the wall on which he paints, which means that after obtaining permission from the property owner, the only person who is allowed to paint there is the person who created the original drawing. The alleyway begins at Rua Harmonia and winds its way around to conclude at Rua Medeiros de Albuquerque. The entrance is located on Rua Harmonia. Beco de Aprendiz the Beco do Aprendiz, which is formerly one of the more shadowy areas of the neighborhood, was converted into an open-air art gallery in the year 2002. The gallery features the work of hundreds of graffiti artists. The term, which means apprentice alleyway in English, alludes to the fact that these artists were not successful in staking their claim to a place in Beco de Batman. However, as you will see in the following paragraphs, they are just as good and just as imaginative as the other artists. Kambuchi. It is hard to discuss the art of graffiti in Sao Paulo without mentioning the Kambuchi area. Even though Villa Madalena is the location where the majority of people go to view street art nowadays. It was here that the well-known artists Otavio and Gustavo Pandolfo, often known as Os Gemeos, got their start and many of their earlier works may still be seen today. Begin at the intersection of Rua La Vepes and Rua Justo Azambuja and make your way down the streets to witness all of the magnificent graffiti that has been painted on the walls, doors, and even trash cans. Ardo Lavapes, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Pinheiros. As a result of the prevalence of street art in Villa Madalena area, artists begin to focus their attention on the adjoining Pinheiros district. As a result, there is now a wonderful collection of street art to be seen in the Pinheiros neighborhood as well. The Bendito Calixto Square and on Saturdays is packed with artisans selling antiques and handicrafts exposes amazing artwork painted by highly accomplished graffiti painters during the week. 
free public urban art museum to the public. Binho Ribeiro was detained in 2011 after it was discovered that he had painted the pillars that support the elevated section of the Blue Metro Line without a license. After that, he and some other street painters got to work planning a scheme to paint murals on the walls of the buildings. They received assistance from the state's Ministry of Culture, which led to the establishment of the nation's first open urban art museum. More than 30 columns packed with light, shadow, and shapes in a variety of styles that, to this day, have played home to a total of three exhibitions in 2011, 2014, and 2017. O.S. Gemeos, Nina Pandolfo, and Cobra. These three artists have made a reputation for themselves in the urban landscape of Sao Paulo, and their work can be found all throughout the city. Otavio and Gustavo Pandolfo, who make up one half of the pair known as O.S. Gemeos, were both born and reared in the Kombuchi area, which is located in the middle of the city. This is also the location of some of their earliest pieces, which have been preserved. Their identifying characters, which are yellow in color, serve as their own imprint. Nina Pandolfo is one of the few women who has achieved a major place in the local graffiti scene. She is recognized for her drawings of females with wide and expressive eyes, which can be seen in Kabushi. Eduardo Cobra is known for his unique and kaleidoscope style, which he has used to create a huge mural around the city of Brasilia. Some of these murals can be found on Paulista Avenue, Ibirapuera Park, and Contalacao, among many other locations. The fame of these painters has spread to other countries, and their work has been exhibited on every continent. A day devoted to graffiti. Graffiti Day is observed annually on March 27th in remembrance of Alex Valuri, who was considered to be one of the earliest icons of urban art in San Paolo. Valuri passed away in 1987. As part of the celebration, murals are painted all around the city, round tables are hosted, and a variety of cultural activities are carried out. This celebratory day also includes both events. Pixacao Not all of the urban art found in the street of Sao Paulo is composed of bright graffiti. Illegibility, marginalization, and secrecy are the defining characteristics of a certain aesthetic that originates as a means of communication opposition to a dictatorship at the time of its existence. It is not intended to be aesthetically pleasing, rather it is meant to convey a political statement and call attention to issues of social inequity. Pixicao is the name given to these markings, which can be seen all over the city, particularly in locations that are difficult to access, and picadors is the name given to the people who make them. One of the living species that may be found in the concrete jungle is known as Sao Paulo is urban art, which can be equally arresting and fleeting.